Okay guys, welcome to the Jewels to Life. It's been a while since we did a In the Car vlog because of this coronavirus. Haven't been able to go to the gym. And yes, I'm still not going to the gym even though they've opened up. Don't mind my missing fingernails, my fingernail. But so today I just checked my mail. I'm actually heading for an oil change during my lunch break. And I'm gonna leave my car and pick it up after work. So I just wanted to get this done because I've been putting it off and I need my oil change. So yes, folks, Ross has opened back up again. Um, and as I said, I live in a small town. So we're going to see if it's crowded. I'm going to go in there. I'm not going to go in there. But if it's not that many people there, especially because it's during lunchtime, then I'm going to take a little stroll and see what's in there. Because I heard there's supposed to be a lot of stuff on sale. I don't know. My daughter lives in um, Orlando and she's at one of hers and there's nobody there, she says. And she's seen items for like $2, $3, luggages for $20 that were originally on like a hundred and something dollars. Not really buying any luggages. I don't need any. But I wanted to share. I um, signed up for um, Scented Bird. And this is supposed to be a company that's saying, don't worry, I have my baby wipes here. And oh, this is another video. I'm going to show you how I make this. So I bought these baby wipes and there's no sanitizer anywhere. So I bought these, the baby wipes. And what I'm going to do is, let me turn my AC now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, what I did, I'm sorry. I'm not losing my train of thought. I opened it and I poured some alcohol in there so I could use it as a sanitizer because I don't have sanitizer anywhere I do have my box of gloves here that I use whenever I'm going to the store and I have my mask here and I'm in the process of making some masks so I'm trying to do a little bit of everything and I don't know why I don't have time to do anything um, seriously but anyway I, I'm so excited and I was gonna do a separate video when I get home but this is from Boxy Charm, and it's I'm sorry, Scented Bird, Scented Bird. It's pretty much like a Boxy Charm, I guess, or whatever. And what it is, it's a. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't have Corona. I just swallowed the wrong way. But anyway, so it's a, a monthly subscription of thirty-four bucks or thirty-five dollars. I cannot remember exactly and they send you three uh, bottles of perfume and they are brand name perfume they're not fake or whatever they just send you like a small bottle um that should last you about 30 days they said um so i ended up getting the option um i think with three yeah yeah that was 30 something dollars i believe you could have the option that sends you one but I chose three because I like to change up my scents. And I thought it was pretty good. $35 for three little bottles of co uh, perfume that will last you 90 days. Hey. So we're going to open it and see and smell. Because some of these I don't know the scent. And oh, that's cute. It comes in a little baggy. Let's see. Let's see. And I don't remember which one I ordered. You kind of order in advance. And it took, my first order, it took about three weeks. Uh, no, it's about, about two weeks. And it comes in a little, and this is hard to do this in drive, folks. It's, I like the packaging so far. Um, I don't know how to open it, but uh, let's see. Oh, hang on. i got to switch lanes up here men working <clears throat> all right so we're gonna oh, they're doing somebody's driveway oh, that's not even a driveway I guess for cops to pull over and pull you over I guess I don't know anyway so this is a little outer container but why can't I dang okay maybe I'm twisting it no oh Okay, okay, all right, okay. Silly me. I'm trying to pull it apart, but all you do is this, and you squirt it. I don't know which one this, oh. Oh, oh, I got it now. Okay, here we go. That's, that's a, 
a decent amount in there. This is Burberry. Uh, let's see, what's the name of this one? Okay, they could have written it a little bit better. Let me see. Burberry Brit EDT. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That smells awesome. Magnificent. Okay. Turn it. All right. And you turn. Okay, this is how you do it. This is how you spray it to use it. And there you go. So it's a twist. All right, so this is the Burberry. Smells amazing. I never had that one before. And, okay, I like their little packaging. Okay, here's the packaging. This is how it comes. And you get one, I guess you get one of these. So there's one perfume in here, one in here, and another one. So I ordered the three. So, and then I guess when you're trying to use it, you just switch it over into that one. Or you could just... Well, you can use it this way too, but to put it in your purse. And this one is Bagley Miss Cheka. Never heard of it. Oh, it smells good too. I've smelled that smell before from somewhere else, but I've never had that one before. This is, it smells good, but I don't think this is going to be my favorite. The Burberry smells awesome already. And this one is Ooh La La Rouge. Christian Serrano. Mmm. That one smells good. It smells good. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to try this one. So, this is the Ooh La La Rouge. We're going to squirt a little. Cause, ooh. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That smells good. I want to smell it. Okay. And this one is the Bagley Miss Cheka. We're gonna squirt that right there. Mm. Oh, that's a clean scent. Hey, I, I like them all. Oh, that's a clean scent. Uh, let's try this. I don't know why I'm still always trying to rip this thing off. Let's try this one over here. Yes, I'm gonna smell like three different things, but that's all right. Okay, and a squirt, that one was a little squirty coming out. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say all three of these are a go. They smell amazing, 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 amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see what's in here. And so every month, they're going to send me three different ones. And the three, you sign up with... It just fell on the ground. And I can't reach it because I'm driving. So every month, they're going to send you three different ones. And I already signed up for my, my the three that I want for July, August, June, July, and August. I don't remember which it is, but let's see. So it says, they put a nice little card in there. And it says, hello, beautiful. We are thrilled to welcome you to the magnet, to the magic of Scentbird. Your monthly perfume fix has, has arrived. And it does tell you how to use it. So I should have read that direction first, but I figured it out. All right. And they, they want you to rate the scent. The more you rate, the better your recommendations become. So I guess if you get one that you don't really like, you could check that you don't like it so they won't send you. Because I think they're basing it off of, um, they, also, they have suggestions on the website according to um what they think you might like. So for example, if you put in like you like floral scents, if you like summer fresh scents, they'll give you certain picks, um, recommendations, but you don't have to pick from that. So, um, and then you update your queue. You could change any time of if you, by logging onto the account before the fifth of the month. So you could change your mind and get different ones. They said, for example, you found somebody on YouTube or somebody, you smell somebody and they said, oh yeah, this is such and such. You could go in your queue before the fifth of the month and switch it before they send out your order. Okay. And it's like, as I told you, it's like $35 for the monthly subscription, but you could do one. And I think one was 19 if I'm not mistaken. But don't quote me on that. I'm not sponsored, by the way. Um, but the website is, I'm going to list it down below. It's www.scentbird, S-C-E-N-T-B-I-R-D, like a bird that flies, dot com slash invite. 
and I do have a um, code that I signed up for and I believe it's Jules 187 no I think it's um, the Jules to like but I will check and so you know what next time you we should I should read before I just I was just so excited I wanted to smell the perfume but they actually send you a card with each perfume that's in there and it basically tells you like see I have all three here right so this is what the packaging would look like if you bought it in the store see that's what it looks like and on the back it tells you okay that is Burberry Brit EDT whatever that means edition probably so anyway so it tells you exactly what kind of scents are in there so if you like these like okay for example the Burberry is like an almond vanilla lime sugar and pear scent I didn't smell none of that in there but okay and it gives you the ingredients and it tells you that it's just rebottled and what it is it's a um, independent company that rebottles um, uh, perfumes name brand perfumes and they are genuine products okay sir come on out I do like that because uh, a lot of times you wear something and you're not, you, you don't know what's in there you don't know the scent that's in there and I like this because it kind of tells you what it is okay and the Ula Rouge by Christian Serrano, Seriano. It's saffron flowers, ruby grapefruit, praline, white star jasmine, and amber wood. Now, I, it's weird because I never really looked at perfume ingredients, but I do like the fact that this is in there. And you know what too? Sometimes a lot of people are allergic to things. Okay. Ross just opened up, so I am heading there to see what I can find. So that's where I am right now because my daughter just called me and told me that Walmart is closed for the for the um the oil change. So anyway, so we gonna glove up. First, I'm gonna scent sanitize. Now this is my oh, it smells like real alcohol, but it is real alcohol. So, I'm going to sanitize because I just touched my mail and I like to wipe my stuff down with the baby wipe. I'm telling you people, try, try this. And some people wash, rewash the baby wipes. I'm not going to that extreme and rewash the baby wipes. I'm sorry. I don't. And I know a lot of people are saying that they couldn't find baby wipes because people are taking them from the store. People who have young babies. I, I wasn't one of those because I just started buying these so I'm sorry but anyway my daughter keeps calling me and I'm busy vlogging and there is no a line oh my daughter's just telling me there's a line to get in if there's a line we are not waiting it is not that serious no, Ross, we will catch you another day because I, I don't have time to sit in a line. But anyway, so I'm telling you people, great idea. Now, you don't have to, when you make this, I'm going to show you how to make it. You don't have to use the whole entire bottle of alcohol. Trust me, it goes a long way. You tilt it back and forth to get the alcohol throughout. And the thing is, I want to get the little containers to put it in because as you can see, some of the alcohol still leaks out because this is not totally secure so you know the little baby wipes container this is a good idea to keep one in but i just didn't think of it at the time so i have to go back my daughter says there is a line and there sure is oh my god oh no 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 i guess when people leave then others come in it might be mo it's moving pretty fast though it's moving pretty fast. So let's go. He he has his face mask? Yeah, he has a black thing. Here, yeah. his shoes right there. And he has gloves? I have gloves on my car. Okay. 
So we gonna suit up and get in here and see what they have. I just want some workout outfit because um, not that I go anywhere, not that I go anywhere else, but um, yeah, we gonna see. And you know what, I'm not gonna take my entire pocketbook in there because for the simple fact that just some more stuff, I don't wanna wipe anything down. So I'll just take my card and I have a pocket, put it in and my keys and we're gonna call it a day. But, oh my God, these perfume smells amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm telling you, check it out people. Scentbird. And I will log the information down there, but for now we're gonna we're gonna kill a few birds with one stone. So we're gonna walk up to um this Ross and I'm gonna show you what we're dealing with during this coronavirus aftermath. Well, it ain't even aftermath. A lot of people think it's an aftermath, but it ain't an aftermath because guess what? It, it ain't over. Even though they're opening up everything, it's not over, people, because people are still dying at an alarming rate on a daily basis. So don't let them fool you and say it's over. Anyway, time to mask up because you got so many nasty people in this world. They cough and don't cover their mouth. Put your face mask on, little boy. These are my other two chitlins. He doesn't get to go out much, so don't touch much of nothing. You have your gloves on? All right, heading to us. You see all this car in the parking lot? I can't believe I never seen this before. They better, they should have had a fan or something. Sitting out here in 100 degrees waiting on Ross to open up. They better have some good sale in there. Please wait here for the store end. I guess you weren't walking fast enough. <clears throat> I guess everybody is dying for Ross to open up. You see they have the X's on the ground. We gonna stay at this one. We gonna skip the middle one. Like them all, you know. I'm not picky. Then there is black. So my daughter is at Ross in Orlando. What is it? Two ninety nine. Oh yeah, most definitely. You lost connection. You heard? You lost check, connection. Check, 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 check. Oh, there you go. Then there's this gray one. I can't. Gray. Poor connection. Hold on. How much? Yeah. How much is it? $2.99? This is $1.99. Oh, Jesus, Candace. Get them all. This one is $8.99. Oh, Jesus, Candace. Get them all. This one's $8.99. Which one? No, put the $8.99 back since you're getting them for $2.99 and $1.99. Mom, can I go? I'm thirsty. Hold on. You That's can't not, go nowhere. There's nothing in there. This one's 750 I can't see it. It's a poor connection. How much you said it is? How much? Okay, so whew, that was hot. Shopping at Ross. Well, looking through Ross because I really didn't buy anything because I had to head back to work. But we had to wait a little while in the line. And they have some sale going on, but nothing major. I just have to um, get back to work because I have a meeting in a few seconds, few minutes. Oops. So I am heading, I have a meeting in, actually it's 2.15. 2.15 is our meeting, so I'm heading back home right now, but didn't find anything major in, in Ross. I just found some head scarves, but they're not even really on, well, they are on sale, but not a great sale. So my daughter, I left my daughter in there. She's in line. 
and I didn't want to wait in the checkout line this morning.